At the FDA has put out a warning for unapproved versions of the dermal filler Juvederm. The injectable is being sold and distributed illegally across the country. The agency cautions both providers and consumers to avoid products with labels Juvederm Ultra 2, 3, and 4. Here with more is Dr. Melanie Palm from Art of Skin. Good morning. Good morning. Now this sounds like such a serious problem because you're messing with your mm -hmm. face anyways and then to have a product that you don't know if it's good or Legitimate. not. Yeah. yeah. So I, I, I'm a huge patient advocate and I th I'm so thankful that you guys are talking about this because I think we can provide some good tips to ask your physician to make sure that you're actually getting product that's gone through the proper FDA channels, mm -hmm. that it's a legitimate product that's actually manufactured and distributed for U.S. patients. So Juvederm 2, 3, and 4, it's used legitimately elsewhere in other countries mm -hmm. around the world. But the problem is when it's it's imported here it's number one illegal so physicians shouldn't be injecting it but number two you don't know what is the chain events that it actually gets to the clinic where you're getting the injection was it temperature controlled is there a problem that it could uh, have been exposed to bacteria and you could get an infection or even worse sometimes we see um, stories about you know boxes don't look legitimate there's misspelling so so I want to tell consumers sort of what to look out for and what to ask their physicians as well well right so that's the big question is do you ask them, can I look at the box? What do you, how do you do Absolutely. this? Absolutely, and I think if your practitioner is even bulking at that, I think you should run out the door. Um, often pricing sort of predicates this. So if you're going to mm -hmm. a good board certified core specialist, a board certified dermatologist, a plastic surgeon, there's a price premium for that, but part of it is the product. So if something seems like too good of a deal, you really want to act concerned. When we're talking about things like Botox and Dysport, the toxins we use, there's actually a hologram on the bottle and I've had patients ask me and I have no problem with showing them the product we've actually brought the five approved Juvederm products that are actually distributed here in the US appropriately and you can ask to look at these boxes um, they look legitimate they have holograms on them there's an expiration date there's a lot number and there's only three major channels for all of our fillers to come into the US for Juvederm it's Allergan there's a company MERS and a company called Galderma who uses McKesson as their manufacturer. So ask a physician where they're getting it from, how they've ordered it, and ask to look at the box or ask them to open up the syringe right in front of you. Well, and a lot of these doctors, some of them are buying them as a co-op as yeah. well, and that's something that you also need to be careful about. Yeah, so sometimes it's legitimate product, but they're distributing it for 70 different practices, sometimes in multiple states. And again, the companies that manufacture this can't ensure the safety because once it leaves their hands and it's brought to a clinic and then redistributed, distributed to other ones. You don't know how it was handled. Was it temperature controlled? Was it kept in sterile con conditions? Appropriate so that it's safe for you to be injected. Okay, so the number one thing is talk to your doctor. Make sure that you're yeah. asking the right questions. Absolutely. And if somebody hesitates, I would walk out the door and find somebody else who isn't afraid to answer those questions correctly. Right, because this all comes down to there could be side effects. There could be other kinds of problems. Yeah, I mean, luckily these are temporary fillers, but I'll tell you at least several times a month I deal Applications that have happened in the community and I just want patients to be safe you know injectables are lovely but you want them done by somebody who really understands them and is taking the right appropriate ethical actions to make sure that you're getting the right product all right thank you very much dr. Palm yeah, for absolutely. the information we're gonna have more good morning San Diego coming back after this